Hi everybody, I'm Enchanted Moon and welcome to my channel. I'm doing an unboxing for you today uh, from the Witch's Moon. Believe it or not, I didn't get the Witch's Moon yet, but I did get um, either the Roots or the Bounty. Um, so let's get into it. This is for October. Usually I get the Moon first, but this is the first time that I'm, I'm not. So maybe there's a delay, maybe they're waiting for something. So this is the Roots. Which is roots for October? Always in the herbal box. Herbs go all the way around. So let's see what they got in store for October. The witch's roots. Always we have the twined paperwork. Let's see what the theme is. For the witch's root. The witch's bism. The witch's bism. Very exciting. I like that. Ooh, the first thing here is a beautiful book of shadow sheet about the witch's broom. The bism. Isn't that beautiful? Always nice. Very cool. And then our book of shadow sheet for this herb box is Blue Sage. Blue Sage. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's see what this month's about. Now, of course, we got a necklace. Why would they give you a necklace? I thought they'd give you a little broom. I hope there's a broom in there. I really do. And how many necklaces can one person use? I mean, I already just ran to their jewelry box. I mean, it's pretty. I do think it's very pretty. Kind of looks like a nice sigil. And then the back is broom. And of course on your silver chain. They must have stock in this company because they always get the same necklaces from the same company. I think this is pewter. So the necklace is nice, but I could have used a broom. Okay. Then we have a brown sachet with a rune sigil on wood. Cute. We got a white sachet with a crystal. It kind of looks like a quartz. I'm not sure, but nice size tumble. We have our oil. Bingo. Psychic bism, 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 whatever way you say it. Oil, really cute. We have our incense, and it's called copal. Our incense is copal. We have the blue sage, which is your herb. And the last item is your candle. I thought really we're gonna get a cute broom. Oh well, the necklace is all right. And then we have a white candle, beeswax. All right, let's see. The witch is bizarre. 
During the sacred time of year, we spend a large part of our time focusing on our inner workings. This includes peering into the shadows, working on ancestral and spiritual guides, and using a variety of divination tools to bring clarity to our reality. It is vital that we work with through our practices during this time that we control energies that surround us as well as energy that resides within our sacred space. This, In this very special collection, we work with a variety of wonderful companions to assist us in clearing and cleansing our space so that we may bring in the beneficial energies we seek. First thing is the blue sage. Unlike white sage, blue sage is found in the eastern and southern eastern states and is commonly cultivated to provide its own unique energies a wonderful alternative to white sage this unique herb is less potent in smell and smoke and carries with it the ability to bring in new energies instead of disti distinct distinctly dispelling negative energies the floral qualities that are associated with blue sage brings calmer notes to its aroma although blue sage can dispel negative energy within your sacred space and ritual area. It's also well known for its ability to attract success, success through prosperity and abundance of all kinds. In addition to attracting these energies, blue sage is extremely mindful, promoting relaxation, relieving stress, and calming anxious thoughts and emotions. While using blue sage as a clearing smoke, the energies of of comfort and guardianship can quickly be felt. This specific one can be broken down and burned into small amounts within a fire safe bowl or simply burned as a wand. We always recommend burning blue sage before rituals to set your space and cast your circle. As you allow the smoke from this blue sage to wave through your space, take the time to vocalize your intentions for doing so. As you speak clearly and out loud, that your intentional energy become more potent and apparent, assisting you in manifestation. You will have associate. We have associated this blue sage wand with the witch's besom for its ability to clear and assign the sacred space. Blue sage herbal grimoire artwork by a e alden the bism by christopher pendek pendant and chain we are so so thrilled to have the opportunity to include this meaningful pendant into this collection this pendant was designed by christopher pendek known for his ex Extensive authorship. Christopher Pendick is a witch teacher, writer, and a healing practitioner, and is the founder of the Temple of Witchcraft Tradition and System. On the back of this pendant, you will find the following inscription Broom Cleaning, Home Journey, Spirit, Contact Protection, Purity, and Intuition. As you wear this pendant, allow yourself to remind that you that within your power, Within your power to use the witch's bism to bring clarity and beauty to your surroundings. Christopher Pendek actually is New Jersey, um, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's not New Jersey. Maybe he's New Hampshire. I'm not New Hampshire, Massachusetts. I'm not sure. But he's definitely local on the East Coast and does a lot of, a lot of books. And he does a lot of these um, pendants for this company. Okay. Then the Besom Book of Shadows artwork by A.E. Alden. But for actually cleansing your space, I would think they would have gave you a little mini broom instead of wearing a necklace to remind us to clean. Anyway, that's my take. Tumbled Clear Quartz is a programmable stone um, and enhances your other crystals. Um, very good for healing. Um, then we have our white light mini spell candle. This has been hand rolled with the intentions of promoting the energies of clarity and cleansing into your space. Ah, this cute little rune is a protected home bind rune. This bind rune was created exclusively for this collection. 
uh, placing the design is the Rune Radio. I'm going to butcher the name, so I'm not even going to say them. The runes combine the energies of the journey, protection, home, and intuition. The bind rune can be placed within the sachets or mojo bags or use it with any magical practice you feel called to include. Really cute. Then you have the psychic piece of magical oil. This was created with the intention of clearing any clutter that may be clouding your intention and your psychic sight. Of course, you can ignite yourself, your tools, and all that good stuff. It is magically anointed with rosemary, peppermint, clary sage. Also includes rosemary, mugwort, more mugwort herbs, and of course, a quartz. And they always mix a special oil in here from their magical cabinet, and that is called Third Eye. So we have that as well. Our necklace, I know I'm gonna use that for. I mean, it is a nice necklace. And then our copal incense. Um, and that is to allow the synchronies and signs from your guides to manifest through your sacred objects placed inside this collection. So that is the, I'm going to also give you a little peek on those names that I cannot pronounce, the runes. Let's see. Here we go. They're right over here. The four runes. So what do you think of October's Roots box? I do like the idea. I do like the theme. I mean, the necklace is nice. I really wish I got a little broom. I mean, I not like I need one, but I think it would have been a cute little thing to add. I will leave you the description, uh, the, the information about this box in the description below, as always. Thank you guys for watching, and have a blessed time.